Bitcoin ended up breaking the trend line. We talked about this from our last video that we had, right? We were saying it's going to begin to pull back down. The real test is going to be to see what happens off the 500 EMA on the daily chart and roughly the 40,000, 41,000 range that's been holding so nicely for the last like near year, if not even more. I think that was the local top prior to a breaking higher here going into April. So, you know, hey, this needs to be a really considerate support level, really strong support level going forward. So back even from early to mid-January, I think it was maybe mid-Jan when I, when I made my first video on YouTube, you know, uh, going over Bitcoin, just more or less saying, you know, I expect that to be support. Right. I expect for it to kind of break down around that area, chop around there, consolidate around there, and then we'll see what happens. Well, where I was wrong on that was the fact that we ended up seeing it hit there, but there was no real consolidation at first. It just like snapped right down right under there. And that that's where I got thrown off. Right. We can't always be right with analysis or you know potential predictions or anticipation of move. But it's to say, hey, you know, we're not right. But let's kind of try and improvise and go forward. That's how I phrased it. And more or less, when I did my next video, Bitcoin was roughly off my midway point line between 40,000 support. And then the next major level, roughly off 29. So it's pretty interesting to see recently, we ended up seeing that uh, 34,000, 34,500 line hold really well just as a bottom here on the daily chart over the last like three to four days, five days. And now we're getting a push up. Full disclosure, I ended up selling a little Bitcoin at 40,000 about like a month ago, whenever it was about like three, four weeks ago. And we ended up seeing it squeeze back up a bit higher. I ended up thankfully selling a little bit higher on the next stack at like 44.8, I think it was even. It was a decent sell. You can't always say that. I ended up buying a little bit more coming up right here. I re-added a lot, actually, roughly off of 37.56. And where I say a lot is I ended up putting it into a leveraged position, which I've done in the past. I've done pretty well with those positions before. I, you know, at times I've slipped up and it's cost me a lot at times too. So you need to be really careful with trading on leverage. I ended up jumping in roughly over 37,500. I set my stop, like, I think it was like under 36.5. And with today's pop i gotta say you know much like we talk about inside the live trading room of, of ours the cyber group room you, whenever you enter a trade you want to see a, a reaction a really big move very quickly right you know i always say hey my best entries to buy a stock are you know direct are, are directly after it breaks through a big level on the way up but you know i also say that when a stock breaks through a big level we got to make sure it gets a, a big move very shortly after so this is the point where I need to see Bitcoin make a very big move shortly after. I'm pretty thankful, at least after I got in, you know, I realized why I wanted to get in here. And I'll explain that coming up next. That has to do with the two indicators on the bottom that you happen to see on the chart. Uh, what we'll do coming up after even from here is dip into the trading light platform, which, you know, what we call level four for crypto. But, uh, you know, here it's to say. When it breaks above this major line off of 40,000, 40, you know, 1,000 roughly, and certainly the 500 EMA from the daily chart there in orange, we got to see a damn strong reaction coming up here, folks. And, you know, there's a lot there's a lot of bearish signals that, that have happened recently and, you know, things around the world, unfortunately, that have led to a drop off within the market and, you know, negative things out there that you would think would leave, lead to a, a drop off within crypto or at least for it to not move up. But, um, you know, this is a significant moment right now. I'm very bullish on Bitcoin and crypto altogether. And I've been for the last two years at this point. So, you know, why stray against that? So this, I ended up jumping in and thankfully I've been off to a good start today, but we need to see a lot more of this going forward from where I took the snapshot. Uh, you know, it's still right around 41,000 here. So coming into the next few days, I would love to see this begin to try and push a higher high and make a move closer up towards that 49,000 line. I also have a couple of FIB levels as you could, you know, try and imagine here on the chart. I have a few different FIB levels dating back from the, the bottom of the bear market from uh, 2018 all the way to the top there, as you could see like the top in red. So those like other shades that you happen to have there in blue blue and green and, you know, orange, red, whatnot. Those are fib, fib retracement lines. So, you know, that also factors into the, the green line is actually the 38.2% retracement line from bottom to top. So that also is, you know, a pretty significant thing here, here to talk about too. All right. So really quick, lastly, let's just kind of dip also into the uh, trading light platform. This is like kind of what we nicknamed level four for crypto. 
So this is where I kind of took the same type of snapshot as I did just about 20 minutes ago before we started this video. It's to say at least that we're, we're beginning to see more and more stacking of volume on the bid here. And we, we really have been back from mid-January, but we're beginning to see a bit, bit of a higher low build, a nice squeeze back up. And with that, you know, hey, it can lead to a nice jolt back up towards that 49 and even 50,000 line. There's not much big liquidity on the offer to work with aside from right over here. If I'm going to zoom in right right on this chart. I'm going to assume that's right around like 45,000 this, this line here is. So this is going to denote a pretty big sell order that's out there on the ask. But that's been out there for a little bit. That's been out there since mid-February for about like, you know, 10, 12 even 14 days now at this point coming up. So, you know, hey, it's already dropped off. It's already pulled back and made the higher low. Let's see this begin to try and push back up and test this order, or we'll even see him potentially get pulled coming up here. Keep an eye out just to see if he gets pulled. So that would be my thought in terms of the liquidity that's out there. Uh, you know, this is on Coinbase. This is the, the Bitcoin order book on Coinbase. So there's other order books that I could have tried to take a snapshot of here pretty quickly, but kind of running on uh, limited resources today. A lot of tech issues early this morning. Uh, lastly, with uh, the trading view chart, I wanted to dip into this here just lastly. The two indicators on the bottom, I've had this up from the first video that I made on, on Bitcoin. Uh, you know, you, you, a lot of us probably know about the RSI relative strength index goes over when any, uh, you know, crypto or stock, any currency asset altogether is either overbought or oversold. You know, the TSI here is something I found. I was like futzing around, playing around with on trading uh, on trading view. And, you know, hey, I, I looked into it. It makes sense. The calculations are way above my head to try and dig into explaining how it's calculated. But more or less, TSI complements RSI. And it goes, it's, an, it's a momentum-based oscill oscillator that, you know, basically identifies trend reversals. You know, so call it like a MACD version of an RSI, RSI, MACD are comp complementary to one, one another anyway. So with the TSI from the first video I made with Bitcoin, that was back from early January, I was talking about a potential crossover between the blue and the red. And we ended up getting that back from the end of January. And a lot's happened since, including the higher low that we have just on the standard chart. So, you know, with this beginning to cross over one more time here coming up, I feel like we could begin to have that next big pop coming up on Bitcoin. So, you know, we'll see what happens here across the board between Bitcoin, between Cardano, Ethereum, Phantom, a lot of these other altcoins that we tend to follow simultaneously.